Hello friends, welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today, we are looking at a children's book. Dick and Jane and Vampires. Yes, <laughs> if you're familiar with the Dick and Jane books, they've been around since the 1930s. They were created by a couple of educators that wanted to help young children develop reading skills easily. And about 14 years ago, when this was published, everything took a different spin. <laughs> so take a closer look at this fun book. So here it is, the continued adventures of Dick and Jane, but with a vampire. And the artwork uh, captures the style of the original series dead on when you look at the artwork in this. And basically, it just is, there's this vampire that kind of looks like Ricky Ricardo and uh, Tony Monero from Saturday Night Fever um, that first starts appearing as a bat flying around the house and making their pet cat kind of crazy. And soon he becomes a, a, a playmate for the for the kids and even lets Jane uh, pretend like he's her baby. Um, it's it's silly, silly fun in the whole Dick and Jane style. Um, and, and totally, I mean, there's nothing objectionable in this. If you wanted a small child to use it to, to read, um, you could because it's definitely a children's book. But we as adults that grew up on Dick and Jane completely get the humor and it's just it's fantastic if you haven't seen it you definitely need it there you go how fun is that right dick and jane and vampires a twist on the classic children's book and really a must for horror lovers you know pop culture fans vampire fans whatever it's a fun little capsule of the 1930s meets you know what 1990s or whatever <laughs> So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.